you briefly touched upon the rivalry between Beijing and Washington, and you recently said during an interview with Nikkei Asia that there is emerging over there an economic cold war which has forced ASEAN countries to create quote-unquote China and non-China portfolios for their products. Yeah. Can you elaborate? I mean, we are living as something that's very unfortunate, uh, the way we look at it, I mean, but the reality today, yes, I said that. It is today already we are in an economic cold war, right? For us, again, as I say, we want to work with all. And but what's happening today, uh, you know, it seems that the world is in the supply chains of the world after the pandemic was to broke down of the global supply chains. Of course, there is this regional supply chains happening. But again, now this global supply chain is coming back with not just one, but two, unfortunately. Now it's like, you know, there's a China and non-China, per se. And for us, I mean, for ASEAN, for Indonesia, we want to work with all. And we want to participate in any supply chain. For us is we want to do business because all our goal is about prosperity. For us, prosperity for our people. And in order to create that prosperity, we have to make sure there is an economic growth in our countries. And we want to be able to actually create revenues for our companies, for the people at the end. But uh, it seems that the world is dividing. And it seems that, you know, economically, there is these two supply chains happening. And for us, we want to be agile. We want to be adaptive, innovative, and resilient to this.